floss tube. My name is Amy and I'm making my very first floss tube video today. So thanks for joining me and I just thought I'd share a little bit about my cross stitch journey. Um, I started cross stitching back when I was about 10 years old. I helped my dad at his office and one of his secretaries actually cross stitched during her morning break and so I got to see it and just took up with it and really really enjoyed it. I cross stitched a lot during the next probably 15 years. I gave away most of my projects for gifts and didn't keep many for myself. So um, I do have a couple of pieces from back in the day before I got busy with kids and the family and all that good stuff that I thought I would share with you first. Uh, one of the projects, it's called the Tea Party. I did this back in 96 and you can tell the 90s colors, the blues and the mauves, but I just thought it was a really, really sweet piece. The companion piece for that is called the Aviator. And I like this one the best. The little boy with the airplane and the toy. So those are a couple of my back in the day projects. Uh, 20 years passed and I now have an empty nest and thought I would get back into the hobby that I really enjoyed before. I hopped on YouTube just to kind of see what was out there and I discovered Floss Tube and kind of went down that rabbit hole and have enjoyed watching uh, so many of you, um, just all the videos and fun that you've posted and I wanted to be a more active participant and try to give back a little. So. I jumped in and figured out that there's more than just the white 14 count Ada. There's more than DMC floss and there's more than just a few little pattern books. I couldn't believe the just amazing variety of fabric and floss and patterns and it's just opened a whole new world and I'm really excited. Uh, one of the projects I did first was an ink circles. And, sorry about the glare, but it was DMC and variegated floss, so I didn't have to do any color changes. So that made it really, really fun and a good project to start my journey with. I made several things I would love to share with you later. Um, just thought I would go ahead and just see if I can even get this one published and ready for you guys to um, view. I did make a couple of things that I found when I was pulling down my summer decorations, getting ready for fall. Love pumpkins. But this is a little America pillow with a fabric back, and that's stuffed with the crushed walnut shells, and I love the way it feels. It's like a little bean bag. I've also done a couple of finishes. Liberty, 4th of July, just fun. Use Lana's uh, tutorials on those and it was a blast. So I appreciate you guys taking a few minutes to spend some time with me today and I would love to chat with you again soon. So I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.